Creating dynamic dropdowns in Jira using cascading select fields can be incredibly useful. It allows you to organize and display data more effectively by showing different options based on previous selections. This means that users can make selections in a step-by-step -step basis, ensuring that only relevant options are displayed in each step. This is ideal for a variety of use cases, from selecting different software environments to categorizing support requests. While standard Jira has some functionality with single select dropdowns, it unfortunately has its limitations. Let's jump in so I can show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. In standard Jira, you can create cascading select fields through the following steps. Go to administration, then issues, and click on custom fields in the sidebar. Click the add custom field button and select select list cascading from the options. Add a name and description if you need for your field and then click create. Choose the issue types and projects it should apply to and then you can click the blue button in the bottom. Then we're back at the custom fields menu and go ahead and search for the custom field that you just created. Click on the three dots at the right of your custom field and click on contexts and default value so we can start customization. So let's configure the field by adding parent options and their corresponding child options. And we'll do this by selecting edit options and adding values. And we're gonna speed through the rest of this part. After finishing our configuration, we'll go back to our Jira board and we're now able to see and choose from our configured options in issues. Like I said before, this feature in Jira has its limitations. The configuration of the cascading selection is quite clunky and confusing, making it feel overly complicated and not very intuitive. Also, the standard cascading select field only allows users to configure two levels of dropdowns, meaning more complex needs can't be met. Now, this is where an app can enhance your capabilities and remove those limitations. There are many different options on the Atlassian Marketplace that can enhance your project management by allowing you to do things that standard Jira can't, like advanced estimating and prioritizing. In order to use true cascading select fields with as many levels as we need, we're going to use an app called Awesome Custom Fields. This app offers a wide range of extra custom fields and enhances project management and visualization on issues. First, click on Create Custom Field and choose Cascading Select. Click Next and we will give it a name. Then we'll configure the field by adding different categories as options at the first level, starting with front end. You could also set labels for each level. So for this example, we'll just use issue category. Then going a step further, we can add options under each category. And these options will only be displayed when the corresponding parent option is selected. At the top, you'll find a live preview to test your selection. Then when we're all finished, we can scroll to the bottom and customize things like the display options, required selection, and even restrict visibility if needed. Click Next and choose the appropriate screen to associate with your custom field. Let's go back to our Jira board one more time and open a ticket. Again, at the right sidebar, we can see our new cascading select field. Now we have a much more intuitive cascading select configuration here, and we can select our issue category, our affected area, our type of error, and click confirm to see it in action. And now we're done. And we can see that with using Awesome Custom Fields, we've created a complex cascading select with as many levels that we needed, which in turn has definitely streamlined our workflow and made data entry a lot more intuitive. I hope this tutorial has helped you learn how to use cascading select fields to perform more complex data selections in Jira. While what we've built together is only one example of what you can do with cascading selections, you can also use these features in Jira service management for a variety of use cases, like categorizing support requests, tracking equipment, and more. While standard Jira has its limitations, Awesome Custom Fields provides the flexibility needed to handle more complex selections and enhance your project management.
If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out for a personal demo or leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tips and tutorials to get the most out of your Jira setup.